students this is veena assistant professor in the department of english institute of aeronautical engineering today i am here to give the session on introduction significance and effectiveness of writing skills what is that which is very important aspect in developing developing your writing skills is today's topic before we start let me give you a brief note on why this writing skill or any kind any lsrw skill is important for developing your communication skill this is the world where communication is playing the major role to make yourself exposed to the world or to make yourself stand in a position of good professional it is very important to have good communication skills so to develop communication skills you have to get hold of or get expertise on lsrw skill namely listening speaking reading and writing if you are making yourself good at all these four um, skills then you will be for sure making your communication skills more and more better so today let us talk and know more about what is writing skill why is it very very important in your communication skill and how can you become more effective and good at writing skills let us now get started writing skill what is writing it is a form of communication that allows to put people their feelings and ideas i highlight this point what is writing you are going to put your feelings your ideas or you will give some information about anything which you want to communicate to other so writing is one of the good weapon which is in your hand to convey your information to convey your thoughts to convey your feelings so therefore writing is the most good, uh, most and sensible weapon which you can utilize in your professional growth and it will convey meaning through well constructed text now when we speak we can change our tone we can be formal we can be informal but when you are writing you will make text in well constructed form that means with proper subject with proper object and with proper predicate so when you are writing a sentence it must be in a complete form with a person who is addressing in the text and also whom he is addressing and what is the work done by that person so this writing skill will surely make you put all your ideas in a well constructed format now what is the true definition of writing writing is a medium of human communication as i already uh, told you in my before uh, before videos that lsrw skills in which listening takes the input role plays the input role while speaking gives out the output role that means listen we take into ourselves and then speak out that is output in the same way reading is the input and writing is the output so when you are well equipped with lot of knowledge through reading you will obviously like you like to put your pen down in writing so writing is a medium of human communication that represents language emotion with sign sign symbols i repeat it represents language emotion signs and symbol that is we are going to equip with the entity of language while writing 
and also we are going to put forward our thoughts our emotions and our feelings maybe we are going to give some information or suggestion or just giving a concluding part to something which we have already read and it can be done through signs it can be done through symbols so writing is a complete package where which will enable you to learn proper language put forward your feelings and also through the medium of signs and symbols so therefore writing will surely make you understand proper structure syntax pronunciation and the grammatical phase of the english language through which you can obviously become better in the communication skills now what is the significance of writing what is that which made writing the most important entity what is the importance of writing let us discuss step by step first point writing skills are important part of parts of communication of course it is very important part because only when we start reading we can enable in writing and excel in writing when you are good at writing you will know the major aspects of communication the major grammatical uh, into grammatical sense of the language will be understood through which you can put forward all those elements while you are speaking so that it is the most important part in the communication next comes good writing skills allow you to communicate your message with clarity yes when you are writing something you will put forward the complete feeling or the thought or the information maybe sometimes when we are speaking we may not be able to render it completely in the complete sense isn't it we may uh, think it is a uh, it is not uh, important while speaking or we may think it is lagging or we may think the other person is getting bored of our speech but while writing you don't have such problems you can put forward your thoughts your feelings your emotions everything with clarity this is the most important entity when you start writing then it will give you ease that means when you are writing the flow of thoughts will be in a very flow a few fluent manner you can attain accuracy of ease ease is that your flow is not obstructed or somebody is not interrupting you while you are writing so therefore these are the two important things which writing skill will help you in developing that is giving clarity making everything understood to the person in the form of writing and also gaining ease of the language that means you are going to make your language or talk or whatever language you are aspiring with the is when you have proper writing skill then comes framework of our communication of course there there must be some framework there must be some rules there must be some guidelines before we start learning some language so writing is the element which is the framework of our communication it is like making a law writing is creating a law for your speaking skill it is a framework it is a structure for developing or for making you efficient in speaking so it gives you the basic guidelines of making the patterns of language or developing the structure or developing the grammatical sense of the language so writing plays the part of very important role in the communication skills which develops clarity and ease as well as it is the framework of our communication skills next what are the things it is an important role which is played in in our day to day life of course we do write for many reasons isn't it one or the other thing we need to write either it can be formal 
or informal we tend to write it is uh, it is one of the most important part in our day to day life then in order to prepare notes what is that it is going to help us in preparing notes note down important points of what you have heard and watched content that means whenever you are interested or you want to know about the information of any kind of uh, books or any kind of content what is that you are going to do you are going to jot down the main points of that content through it can be you are seeing something then jot down if you are reading something jot down it will give you an idea when you are referring it back after some time you will be able to recollect all the things which you have read or which you have seen so this is the most important habit every professional has to make a habit of taking down the notes jotting down the important points when you attend a meeting so writing or taking down the notes in the proper format whenever you attend some meeting or whenever you see something or whenever you think of something please jot it down that will surely help you when you look back again into that paper after a while next we write letter to convey official information or sending mails including framing the content of course today in the materialistic or technological world it is very important to learn the professional skills of writing the letters to our officials to the people who are very important in making our growth in the professional entity so therefore you have to learn writing letters and also sending mails in a in a very good manner and with a good structure and on a very good note there is difference between writing the informal letters and as well as the formal letters but as professionals professionals as the students who are going to step into your professional world you have to learn to write the letters or send emails to your higher authorities or anyone in your professional area so this is the one of the most important skill which every professional has to imbibe in himself that make you stand look vibrant among the group you will look unique when you know proper writing skill without any mistakes in it therefore you will be given a unique stand you will be standing unique among the group where you are giving proper writing skill and also maintaining professional skill in writing then comes writing skills major criteria is towards academic position and greater educational success mostly we use writing in developing our academic success it may be through writing the examinations it may be through catering the needs of writing the competitive exams wherever whatever academic success you aspire for you will have to develop this writing skill so academically if you really want to get successful you must and should develop the writing skills it will lead to greater educational success that is though your speaking skills help you a lot in communication skills but to attend those competitive writing exams where you are representing your thoughts your feelings or your suggestions is very important so therefore writing skills helps in the growth of your academic success next students should believe the importance of writing skills isn't it do you all know the importance of writing skills it is very important to know the importance of writing skills writing and speaking make you stand unique among that group in that professional growth so once you are successful in writing skills obviously your growth will go faster and 
faster. Your professional skills, your behavioral approach, your attitude, your way of speaking, your way of writing. These are the very, very important things in your professional growth. So, the word academic mastery can be attained through the habit of developing writing skill. I repeat, academic mastery. Remember this word. If you want to achieve academic mastery, if you want to achieve good growth in your profession, it is very important to have an effective writing skill in your as your habit. So, learn to write, start to write and also focus and concentrate in developing your writing skills. Next, what is the effectiveness of writing? Here, I am going to talk about five key elements which will make you effective in writing skills and make you helpful in developing your writing skills and also developing your communication skills. Now, let us see what is the first key. Use a professional tone. This is the very, very important key which every student who is specifically in the engineering stream has to inculcate. Don't be informal in your writing. Be careful when you are writing a letter to your higher authority. Okay, use that professional tone. Don't talk in informal language. Have proper format when you write a letter. That pictures your, uh, no, your personality to the other person. Your personality will be replicated through the letter which you are writing to your higher official. So, use professional tone in whatever you are writing. You all do research work. You all write the dissertation works. You write thesis. You write articles. But sometimes you tend to fail in making your language effective. It is because you are using the unprofessional tone or the informal language. So, the first key to get success in effective writing is use professional tone. Be formal. Be formal in addressing your higher authority. Either he is your friend or he is your colleague he's, or he is your neighbor. When you are writing a letter on professional platform, you have to use a formal kind of language and address the person carefully and put forward your concern or give the information whatever is needed for that particular time. Next, know your audience. Yes, when you are writing an article, first understand what kind of audience, who is that your audience, who is going to read your article. For example, if you are writing an article for technological advancements. So, who will be your audience? All that group, all that people who are in the field of technology and scientific advancements. So, you should understand the thought nature. Think critically about your audience. What will that impress the audience when you write about technology in an article. How is it you are going to impress that person who has lot of scientific knowledge? How is that you are going to impress your audience? If you are writing for kids, it can be informal, it can be in a funny way, you can add humorous, you can do all those stuff. But when you are writing a thesis, when you are writing a journal, writing to a journal, how is that you are going to judge your audience? Understand the type of people with different types of thoughts, feelings, expressions in them. So, understand the audience. Try to write the text making 
or keeping in mind the kind of audience who are going to read it. So this is the second key element in developing your writing skill. Now comes organize your information clearly. Now when you write any kind of text either it can be an essay, either it can be an article, either it can be a drama, either it can be a fiction, either it can be any letter or anything. Organize information clearly. Use the step-by-step -step procedure of addressing the elements of what you are going to inform them. First, give proper introduction. One, it is introduction. Okay, this is your first step when you start writing. Then comes next one is the body. Okay, body where you are going to talk about all the elements, express your thoughts, express your expression, express your views about whatever you are talking about through your introduction and through your uh, information or through your suggestion or your through explanation. So, second point body that means you are going to talk about all the elements and the stuff and also put forward your concerns or your suggestions everything in the second paragraph and the last is very important that is conclusion isn't it every aspect whichever whatever it is you are going to conclude it. Either you write any kind of story, article, essay, writer or minutes, whatever it may be. You are going to start with introduction and talk your elements, your feelings, your proposals in the next step and the final step is conclude. Without proper conclusion, your write-ups will be a big failure. Without proper introduction, no one will understand what you have written. So, always organize whatever information you are going to put forward in a very clear and in a very procedure manner. So, give information, organize your information clearly while you are writing. Next comes, use the right format. Yes, this is the most important thing every student have to remember. Use the right format. Understand the right format. Research for the right format when you start writing. Don't just write informally as the way you like. This is very important for your professional growth. Not only in writing but also in speaking. Have proper format. Have proper fluency over your thoughts, expressing your thoughts in a proper informational manner, in a step-by-step -step manner such that others understand it. So always use the right format in making the right conventions, including the guidelines, including the information, including the body of the letter, including anything. Closing lines, signature blocks, message body, salutations, everything. All these elements must be kept in the right format of that writing entity. So, always keep in mind these key elements before you write. Next, use visual elements carefully. Some students think that if I am unable to write something, let me draw something. And show it to the other person. But how is that you are representing that visual representation is very very important. Isn't it? Because you can't just draw anything. While using your tree diagrams, while using your flow charts, while using a pie chart. It must be related and it must be relevant to the text. Okay. So be careful. When you are using the visual elements in your text. 
Understood? So these are the five key elements which are going to make you more effective in learning writing skills. Next, there are six main characteristics of effective language. What is that? Which are very, very important or which are the key points which you have to keep in your mind when you are writing. What is the characteristic? What is the main aim of your writing language? How can it be developed? Point one, concentrate and specific. Okay, when you write professionally, concentrate on what you are writing and be specific. Don't write something irrelevant only to fill the pages. No, not all. this is applicable when you are writing your examinations too. Okay, keep in mind, be specific and concrete when you are addressing, when you are writing an answer or anything. It is very, very important in your examinations. Don't write something or the other to just fill the pages. No, write something concrete. What is concrete? Something strong. Express your feeling, your thought in a very strong mode. Such that the reader, the audience, whoever is reading will have an impact with that strong point. So, be concrete and be specific. You can follow this in your speaking skill too. When you are talking professionally, when you are presenting a PPT presentation, be concrete. Put forward your points in a very strong mode and also talk very specifically relevant to the topic which you are addressing. This is a very, very key character in developing your effective language. Next comes concise and not verbose. Concise is you will restrict yourself to particular zone. You will not verbose. That means going on writing, going on adding new words, going on adding some more sentences to your information. No. Be concrete, be concise and specifically note what information you are going to provide to your audience. That will surely impress the person who is reading that particular writer. Okay. Next. Familiar, not obscure. Just remember this. You know a lot of new words. You have read them and you want to use them. You are desperate to use them. Don't just use like that. Always write in a language which is understood to the other person. Because you are writing for that person. You are writing to make your audience feel good. If you are writing the words which they are not understood, then what is the use in your writing? Isn't it? So, we are going to write or use the familiar words which are understood by the learner. Okay, next. Precise and clear, not inaccurate or ambiguous. Okay, just be precise, be clear in the information, whichever you are using to write them. Next, constructive, not destructive and appropriately formal. So, always see that. Your one sentence is related to the other sentence. What is construction? Step by step building the relationship between the each other element of one entity and concluding it with providing proper information and suggestion. So, be constructive enough, be, be uh, precise, be formal and do your writing in excellent manner. These are the most important characteristics which will surely help you in developing your behavioral approach and also help you in gain proper fluency and also help you in excel your communication skills. Next, what are the training topics for effective writing? Now, developing good reading strategies. Okay, always Reading is the input and the writing is the output. So develop good reading strategies such that you will develop good writing strategies. Next come creating powerful presentations. Someone will surely ask you to make a PowerPoint presentation in your meetings. Now, 
make powerful ppt the audience must make their visual presence and have eye contact with you when you present it so an effective powerful presentation will surely make you unique among others next tone tone is the voice how you express your thoughts are they matching to the time are they matching to the situation are they matching to the place these are the very important things tone modulation the way you respond according to situation is the most important entity in your writing skill next punctuation grammar and spelling yes these are the inbuilt entities which you have to master to have proper writing skill next come organizing your thoughts as i already told you organize your thoughts in a very formal way and in a step by step procedure don't do zigzag talk something here talk something there without any conclusion without any introduction there is no meaning in your writing so always organize in proper format and structure next writing to keep the reader engaged and before that we have structuring paragraphs and sentence that is what i told you start with proper introduction then give the body to that introduction then talk about the conclusion at the end so this is giving the structure to the paragraphs and the sentences then writing to keep the reader engaged always remember that the person whom you are writing must be interested in your reading in reading what you have written once if he is not interested that means your writing is a failure thing you have failed in writing so try to impress the reader so that he is always engaged and like to read your article or your letter or any such thing so you can surely impress your audience with your writing skill so try to develop that expertise in your writing so that it will become an asset in the growth of your professional career then softening a negative message for example you have to write a complaint letter about something happening around you to a higher authority or a higher official how is that you are going to project it are you going to use a harsh and rough tone in writing it no try to calm down put forward the specific concern you have in a very formal tone in a low tone so that the person who is reading will understand your concern and solve it never ever think of being rude or shouting or any kind of thing that can be seen in your writing also say so when it is complaint letter it doesn't mean that you are going on complaining in that letter isn't it we can complain with a soft tone but be with a concrete stuff and also making the specific suggestion or the specific in a uh, conclusion to that particular entity so these are all the training elements which you have to practice to become effective in writing skills next six tips here i am projecting six tips for efficient writing what is point 1 understand your audience as we have already discussed your audience are the most important people to read your write ups so first before you write you have to think about them will they like your write up will they read your write up so always keep in mind the people or the person whom you are addressing your write up next analyze the requirement based on the requirement you will be writing specifically with all sort of important elements or you can add figures you can add graphs analyze it very clearly okay in your writing next develop an idea so when you write something it must develop an idea in the person who is reading it of course he should feel that yes this is true whatever is written here or it is very nice to read this this kind of feeling must we has must have to gain from the reader of your write up so 
develop an idea through your writing next comes draft a rough copy just don't start writing it first draft a rough copy of all the information or all the concern whatever you are going to project in front of a person so make a rough draft with the bullet points bullet points will be the most important uh, uh, features to help you in express rough draft so you we, we within bullet points you can frame a rough draft and then start writing the main content next choose the right words choosing right words is choosing the simple and the formal language which everyone or anyone can understand next comes craft your message message so crafting your message needs all these above five elements what are those understand your audience analyze the requirement develop an idea draft a rough copy then choose the right words then you are going to craft your message so these are the six tips if you are following them effectively for sure you will be the best writer and also the best speaker among that group which will place you in a unique position among others in your professional growth next eight steps of writing process we mainly use these eight steps in writing process what are those first research that is we write for the sake of our research requirements you do research and you write to fulfill the needs of that research then pre writing do a second step is the pre writing that is after research do pre writing that means you will write you will make a rough draft of whatever you have done the research then step 3 is organizing the ideas from the rough draft you will organize the ideas in a step by step procedure then go for drafting drafting is framing the content in a proper format then revising after drafting your work after framing whatever is needed then you will revise it properly and then forward to editing with your revision you will understand what to be edited or what to be added so this is the sixth phase sixth step which you will follow in your writing process next come reading comprehension that means you will now sit and read all your work from phase 1 how you did the research how you have made the pre writing organized drafting everything now you will sit and read and comprehend the content what you have developed so far next comes the time management now how is that you are going to use that work or frame that work in your professional context so these are the eight steps which you will follow to write your research work point 1 research or explore the information whatever is needed which is required for your topic next do the pre writing or make a rough draft of the elements which are needed to be included in your draft next organize them in a particular manner in a sequencing order which makes sense to the audience then draft your work after drafting you will be revising your work after revising you will editing it and then you will sit and comprehending the comprehend the complete text which you have read then it comes the time management within how much period you could be able to complete this process and how is that you are going to represent in front of others is your time management so therefore these eight steps will surely help you in making your thesis presentation your dissertation works or also if you are writing some articles or the papers in for publishers so therefore use these eight steps for your betterment of effective writing ability now writing tips to help you get started i have just made rough draft of all the writing tips which will be useful to you let us read them one by one set writing goals 
every writing must have a goal towards it so that can happen only when you write purposively for every writer there must be a proper goal next write in the morning yes of course this will surely help you because early in the morning you'll have fresh thoughts fresh feelings and fresh expressions which you can put forward very clearly on the paper so this is the best time where you can sit and write next write daily practicing makes man perfect so try to write daily next get inspired by research read the research works which were written by others such that you will be get in inspiration from others to write always carry a notebook and pen this is the most important habit which everyone every professional has to develop carry a pen and a small notebook for jotting down points every time when you have a meeting or any other thing next experiment with writing prompts that means you will try to experiment new ways of writing new ways of prompt, prompting the things that will surely help you in developing different styles of writing next outline whenever you do writing always try to outline its process how you have written what are the perspex you have uses used what are the elements you have added outline them okay next keep it brief the brief is short don't be lengthy don't take lot of time so be make it brief then use active voice your voice is the most important thing while you are writing as well as you are speaking your voice must be active it should impress the reader whenever they are reading your article it must impress your audience whenever you are talking next don't neglect the context always try to stick to the point while you are writing don't neglect the point which is very very important for you in presenting your context next format your emails properly this is the very very important thing in your professional lives you have to put many emails to people who are surrounded by you for any or the one or the other reason so always try to format your emails properly that is the phase of your personality in your professional growth so try to make your emails writing properly with proper formal tone next don't email angry that means you are not going to show your mood in the emails however you are angry however you are going to complain about any kind of thing be formal be low be slow and but be specific and concrete next proof read thoroughly before you hit send so whenever you write an email do check it once again before you click the button of sending sometimes what happens is you will make a small grammatical error or something which has not to be, which is not which is not to be rendered to that person but you have sent it that will make you stand in a danger zone so always try to proofread your mails and check whether you have typed the right word for that particular situation next don't ramble write like you talk within reason so be specific be concrete talk what you are going to specifically inform them then don't ramble that means don't confuse them or yourself don't confuse your audience or don't confuse yourself these are all very important points which you have to remember while writing then be a storyteller who is a storyteller the one who make you sit at a place and make keen observant of your modulation or speech so be a storyteller you must be a impress you must be able to impress the other person next empathize with the reader that means coincide your feelings your thoughts with the reader okay don't go out of the tone match the needs of the reader that is the most important aspect then be fascinated in order to be fascinating show yourself portray yourself be specific in whatever you are talking be calm be soothing when you are rendering your message 
Let your writing rest for a while and edit fresh. Don't go on continuously write, write, write. No, stop at a point. Try to revise the points which you have already written and then give a fresh start. Sometimes in the flow, we will leave behind the proper note which has to be addressed. So, always check, always pen down, check, revise and then restart to build your, build your draft. Then get rid of filler words and phrases. Never ever uses phrases or informal language while you write in your profession. So these are all the very, very important things which will be helpful to you. Next, avoid cliche. Yes, avoid messing up with the things. Then dump adverbs. Don't use adverbs. You are rendering through Verbs that is more than enough, which is very, very formal enough to make others understand. Develop your common mojo, that is the common note, the common tone. If somebody is reading your text, they must easily understand that it is written by you. Okay, so develop that mojo. Next, put everything in the right order, organize them in the proper order. Next, read your writing out loud. This is very, very important because after you finish writing, try to read it aloud so that you yourself will understand the tone in which you have written and if there is some mistake in making your modulation or your expression, that will be improved. So, these are all the elements which you have to remember while writing. Next, keep a list of mistakes you make and of, you make often. So, some people go on make mistakes when they write. So, make a list of it so that you will not repeat it once again. Next, think about your ideal reader. Who is the person always reads your text? Focus on that person and write so that it will render to him properly and correctly. Next, Enlist a friend to read your draft. Always keep someone who can read your draft and tell you what is right and what is wrong. Enlist a friend with you. Always keep a friend with you who will read your draft and tell you what is right and what is wrong. Next, get a hand from Grammarly. Always, no, always keep in mind that while you are writing, it is not just the content, but it is also the important structure formation of the sentences which is needed and which is important in the writing skill. Next, keep reading, learning and practicing. Always keep reading, practicing. This will make you improve your writing skills more effectively. So, I hope it is understood what are the tips, what are the key characteristics, what are the key elements which will help you in improving effective writing skills. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.